Greetings, YouTube, YouTube family, friends, fist bump from my brothers and my sisters and my enemies. So, 2021, May. Yikes. Where am I? Where are we? This is Earth? Hmm. Just when I thought it couldn't get any stranger, I got a bunch of people jumping in line, cutting people in line to get an injection shot up in their body intentionally thinking they're going to save themselves and save other people and now we're not going to get sick and all this really aggravating reasoning why they're getting these vaccination shots. Now there's people uh, bringing up online, they're uploading videos about uh, doctor administration offices for this vaccination shot saying, we'll give your kids free ice cream if they get the COVID shot. Free ice cream with COVID shots or free burgers with COVID shots. What? Like, is anyone out there questioning why they're pushing this vaccine on us so hard? Hmm? Anybody else questioning it? I'm questioning it. The majority is not questioning it. The majority doesn't care. They just want to get it. So I'm questioning it. We're being almost forced to get this pushed. Just keep pushing. The elite is pushing us to get the vaccination all in your faces. They're deleting videos like Aaron Earth. Subscribe to Aaron Earth. She uploaded a video yesterday giving her reasons why she didn't want the vaccine. Her reasons why she doesn't believe in the vaccine. And YouTube terminated that, said you went against com YouTube community guidelines. Now that video's gone just for her simply saying, well, these are my reasons why I don't want to get the vaccine. <gasps> the elite can't have that. Oh, get rid of that video. But I bet you if Aaron said, oh, everybody get the vaccine, it's great. That video would have stayed up, right? Yeah. YouTube is a bunch of hypocrites. GooTube. They're going to probably delete my video if that's the case. Right? YouTube, all you, the elite, the elite YouTubers out there watching me, watching all the truthers out there, you're going to delete this video, right? Yeah, but guess what? We're talking without YouTube. Yeah, we are. You can't delete that, can you? Can you delete reality? Can you delete me? Can you delete everybody? Hmm? So that's my world. 2021 in May, I'm going out, supermarkets are slowly, I'm starting to see people without the diaper on their face. Little by little, I'm starting to see it, but I don't know. It's just not enough, people are still wearing it. You know, people are so afraid, afraid of COVID-19. It's like, oh no, 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 let me cry my mask. <gasps> quick, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, 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 yeah. COVID-19, yeah, baby, give me more. Give me double shot, double shot Tuesday. Yeah, COVID, 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 COVID. You know, I always used to laugh when you see people out there with the, the mask. Oh, I'm saving humanity, saving humanity. Meanwhile, their hands have no gloves on them. And they're touching shit on the shelves. They're touching money, coins. That's okay. I guess you can't get coronavirus that way, right? I don't know. Can you? Of course you can. If it's a common cold and somebody sneezed on their hands and they touched dollar bills and coins, now you have it. Or at the debit card machine when you're about to pay for your groceries, you know how many people touch those buttons? So you'll have some idiot with a diaper on his face saying, oh, you non-face mask wearer, you're gonna make everybody sick and kill everybody. As he's touching a screen that hundreds, if not thousands of people have already touched. Logic, though, there's no logic in sheeple. The sheeple have no logic. They're not that smart, but that's the majority. The masses are the asses. The majority of people out there are just dumb. They don't think. 
th thinking requires too much effort maybe for them and, and, and time or something and they just don't have the time to think logically. Instead, they'll just, CNN told me to do this. Oh, run, 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 go get it. You know, it's like, imagine if nobody had TVs. Hmm, imagine that. What would they do? Uh, their, their pastors at church, I guess, would be the next leader for them. Because for some reason, people have a hard time listening to themselves or having their own opinions in, in, in what's right and what's wrong. They always have to go and seek an answer from somebody else. They don't have any of their own common sense, I guess. And that's scary. That's, that's pretty scary. When I have a question, since I have internet, I'll go on the internet and I'll see what everything I can get. I'll bundle up everything, the pros, the cons. I'll get uh, this article here, grab this article, I'll grab everything. And then I come to determine what I feel is correct. That's how I conduct research about everything and anything. Um, a little while ago, I had the police call on me for not wearing a mask about a month ago in Dunkin' Donuts because I butt hurt this guy so bad that he called the police on me for not wearing a mask. Can you believe that? The cops wanted to, they were cool in the beginning, then they were forcing me for my identification. And I kept saying to them, what crime has been committed here? What crime have I committed? And they said, there is no crime. We just want your name. And I was like, well, I want to exercise my right and not give you my name. How's that? I didn't commit a crime. I'm not detained. Why do I have to give you my name? So he said, if you don't give me your name, I'm going to arrest you. So I said, fine, do what you have to do. He went in and said, put your hands behind your back. And that's when I realized I can't let the guy who called the cops on me let, see me get arrested. So I said, all right. I said, all right, dude, here's my name. And I, and I gave him my name. Happy, you know, and uh, they just want to see if I have warrants, I guess. But, you know, the, the cops are, are corrupt. Cops are no good. Cops are not your friends. The majority of these human beings that I am surrounded by are not my friends. The majority of people that I interact with on a daily basis are evil. It's sad to say, I don't trust anyone. And I don't think any of you guys should trust anyone either out there. Unless you really know somebody for a long time. And even then you can't trust them. So... Cops are corrupt. Don't trust a cop. Don't trust any cop. When they seem like they're being nice to you, they're gonna do something bad to you. So as soon as you say, hey, this cop's kind of like nice to me. No, 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 no. They got something up their sleeve. Don't trust the police. Don't trust anyone who suffocates themselves on purpose, intentionally, on their own, their own hand, by their own hand. Don't trust people like that. Uh, don't trust people who are getting injections into their body without any ingredients. And listen to yourself, have your own common sense. And that's pretty much all you can do in this life today. People have lost their fucking minds. And they're not going to let me lose my mind. Because I'm strong. Strong like bull. No, but, you know. Anyway, that's my rant for the night. Uh, I hope everyone's having a great night or day, wherever you are. And we'll try to get through this BS. And it's, I'm glad to have made this video. And I want to say hello to everybody. And peace.